After a week's delay, here are our five favorite workshop items for week 81 in no particular order. First up is the Aeol Dryas Blessing set for Silencer, created by Nanu, Prosto Moji, and Koss. It comes with seven items including a helmet, robe, shoulder plate, shield, glaive, armlet, and loading screen. This is a very high quality submission for a hero that just isn't played as much as one would expect. This set has a kind of Mayan theme to it with the face on the shoulder being the main point of emphasis. After some transition, loading screens seem to be the standard in today's workshop, which I think is a good thing. Next is the Lineage of the Banished Guard set for Jugs, created by Sith Happens and Vol. It comes with seven items including a mask, back piece, leg armor, sword, bracers, healing ward, and loading screen. After a long absence from the workshop, Sith Happens has returned with a bang. This is one of the highest quality Juggernaut sets you will ever see, and I think the healing ward is by far the most unique. Third, we have the Janju Keeper of the Nuts Courier, created by Zarad, Wasi Field, and Patosh. Dear God, I butchered those horribly. You guys know how much of a sucker I am for cuddly critters, and this courier is no exception. Be sure to check out the showcase video in the workshop as it features our favorite walking animation from any courier we've ever seen. At its basic theme, a squirrel courier is quite simple, but these artists have gone above and beyond with their attention to detail and execution to make this one of the best couriers ever submitted. Fourth is the Gifts of the Vanished Isle set for Juggernaut, created by Ani Lulz and Zafk. It comes with five items including vestments, a mask, pants, blade, and bracers. This is a bundled set for Zotac Star League and it's completely evolving. As of this recording, there is no information on what the requirements are, but one can assume it will have something to do with viewing the games played. Semantics aside, it's important to note that every single item shown here has three levels, which is freaking awesome. And last but not least is a Warlock Golem created by Bronto Thunder, who I think you'll agree here has created the coolest Golem we've seen. I don't even know where to begin here, but it just looks like something a mad genius would create. That's a compliment, by the way. But in the end, I still feel kind of bad for this guy since I don't see any way possible for him to close that gigantic mouth of his. Thanks for watching, guys, and for those wondering, the custom Forge Spirit for our Invoker set will be coming out very, very soon, so stay tuned.